Hey, Ron. I just want to give you my feedback on last night with Grundy going over the line. So he did this all night. He came right across into Gorn's space of the circle. Um, the thing I want to, the thing I want to raise is that, in my opinion, I don't reckon Gorn changed his angles too much. I know this is the this is the very first centre bounce, um, but what I would have liked to have seen from Gorn, and this is just a training thing for you guys, if you ever come across this, is when Grundy comes across into his area there, as you see, I would have liked for Gorn instead of planting himself there. I would have liked it if he had actually then. And this is about learning your lateral vision, so understanding where your opposition play is coming from. I would have loved it if this position here he then jumped. Now, if he jumped, his knee would have gone straight into Grundy's chest, bang. And I don't reckon Grundy would have tried to maybe do it again because he's on the right like. That's the perfect angle for Gorn to raise his right leg where his shin guard is there and just to drive it into. You can see Grundy there is looking at Gorn. He's not even looking at the ball, right? So Grundy's... If I, if I just... Uh, if I just do a little, like, there, Grundy's head is looking straight at Gorn. Gorn's head is looking at the ball, right? So, yeah, I just think that if he had a got, instead of just trying to go for like a ball up or boundary throwing, if he had a just in one of the inst instances last night, raised his leg, raised his right knee there into him, then I don't reckon Grundy would have been too keen to do it more often. So anyway, that's my little feedback on it.